Hello Taurus, Elsie here to give you a reading. So I do come back during the week and I do give you just uh, a few readings during the week to keep you moving in the right direction here, my bull gang. Thank you so much for all your clicks and likes, all of your shares, all the ways you love me and all the ways you communicate with me in the comments. I do appreciate you. I am your um, Taurus sister. It is my sun sign. All right, let's get started here, Taurus. Let's find out what's coming up for you. This is this is these in between readings, as I call them for you. These in between readings are uh, ones that I do not date because I f I think that you'll find them when you need them, and uh, or it'll find you. <laughs> we all get what we need, right? In the end, we do. All right, here we go. All right, bottom of the deck, we have success. It's your time to shine, Taurus success from what you pour your heart into so that's the question what do you pour your heart into right in the future you are going to make the decision to pour your heart into something all right so we first have um evaluation it says feed out what doesn't serve you reevaluate the situation we have realignment shift your perspective for uh, a gained sense of clarity shift your perspective interesting okay and ask your angels <clears throat> excuse me seek the divine uh your your angels want to support you interesting this is a time of evaluation um taurus and we have just come through the new moon which means this is new beginnings right um you're bolder braver right under sagittarius that's you're more adventurous you're um i feel like that some of you could have, those of you who felt like your energy was being pulled to another person or another place or another time, I feel it's almost like somebody relieved you by cutting those ropes that had been tugging on you. That's what it feels like here. But it's understand it's because of your evaluation and because that you've been feeding out what doesn't serve you. It's time for reevaluation. All right. We've got door opportunities are waiting for you okay so i would say that go with, go with your gut whatever you cut out you cut out because opportunities are coming your way and it's 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 the old thing like i always say like maybe you have you know this small room full of energy and when you let some energy out it makes room for other energy to come in yeah so opportunities are waiting for you behind the door We've got the cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. So <clears throat> we have realignment. Interesting how they come up together like this. You have a shift in perspective, Taurus. And you now are going to have a gained sense of clarity about something that wasn't necessarily for you. So it says protected from negative forces beyond your control. The universe saw something that you didn't, Taurus, and you have now been redirected or realigned You've had a shift in your perspective because it was time for you to clear the cobwebs so you can move forward. Understand that um, rejection is protection. It's the truth. Yeah, you're, bit, you're being protected from these negative forces beyond your control by being realigned or given a shift in perspective. And you were supposed to get that if you haven't gotten it yet. I'm sure that some of you or most of you um, are going to have that shift in perspective for sure. Ask your angels. So seek the divine. What are we asking the angels for here? For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Taurus, please. Taurus. Okay. There it is. We have Vulture. Depression, anxiety. Worry that something is against you. So if you are this person, if you feel like a situation is against you, if you feel like you have no way out, Taurus, understand there is a way you just have not found it yet. Yeah, depression, anxiety, and worry, those are all vultures, are they not? Yeah. Picking over the bones, right? It's a, it's a feeling of lack. You feel like there is somebody or something or a force is against you or somebody standing in your way. So I think your, your um, advice is to ask your angels that, uh, that before you make any, any false moves, I feel, because it feels almost like um, you're being protected from something at this time, but whatever you're being protected from might be the thing that you wanted, understand, okay? So maybe you applied for a job that is going to pay you 250000 a year, but you don't get the job because 
you know, maybe it was it was something that was going to kill your mental health. You know, like I feel like the universe has the eye on you and knows that there are certain things, certain certain paths that maybe you shouldn't take. Yeah, I think and for those those I think the realignment is what we're looking at here. That's the reason. Okay, so we have um man dealings with a relationship a dealings or a relationship with a man. Well, that's a little vague, huh? A masculine we'll call it. And then we have bull. Taurus, how do we do this? Look how many cards are here. For reals. Okay, first we'll take this one out. Look at this. How do we end up pulling that in your reading, the bull? It says, uh, don't back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude. Okay, so um, some oppositional time. You know, I feel like it feels oppositional for you because you're in the realignment right now, I feel. Um, having a shift, shift of perspective and a shift of perspective, Taurus, I mean, it's, it feels like new ideas and you know how open we are to change, right? So I feel like there has been some change going on things that are out of your control i think there's some things that are happening and it's clearing the situations or it's clearing the cobwebs for you and it's causing you to have a a realignment in your thinking i think so we have uh evaluation feed out what doesn't serve you opportunities are waiting for you so what are you supposed to be feeding out that doesn't serve you I think you're supposed to be tying up loose ends at this time. So um, I feel like something has come to an end. Um, and so it is because something is supposed to begin. Maybe what has come to an end is that you're no longer going to you're no longer going to put up with situations that are not meant for you or that you see is not meant for you. Fido it doesn't serve you. You know, that person who who keeps making plans and uh, at the very last second cancels them over and over and over again. I mean, we all got to cancel plans once in a while, but you know who they are, right? You know the ones that don't give you the vibe, don't include you in things. You know, I think that you're going to um, start um, uh, cutting some people free, honestly. Yeah, cutting cutting out the dead weight. We have um, the door of opportunities waiting for you. And I think it's, it's you know, in my mind, it's like where we keep our energy as a room, right? I just, I just said it in another reading, I think, where we keep our energy as a room. And for me, when the room gets full, it's full. So sometimes you got to open the door and let some of the energy out. And it needs to make room for new energy. And I think that's where you're at right now. Tell me about that shift in perspective, please. Because you're being you're being watched over by angels and guides here. The cobwebs are, uh, if they haven't been cleared by now, this is the center of your reading. Um, in this moment, if they have not been cleared, it is coming. You are going to have a new perspective on something that you something that was not good for you that you've been shifted away from, or has been shifted out of your your path. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So the realignment could be a new job. The realignment could be, like it says, protected from negative forces beyond your control. It could be that you got laid off or that you lost your job. And the realignment is, yeah, you're going to get a much better job. Uh, one that's not going to kill your mental health. One where they do respect family time and they it's okay if you're a mother and you have to tend to family things sometimes. And, you know, I feel like the realignment is a shift in perspective of, no, I didn't get the job for 250000 a year, but there is one out there for 150000 a year and it's going to allow me to have more flexibility in my life and it's not going to kill my mental health. This could also be the realignment is happening because you are working on yourself. This is also self-mastery right? Being at the top of your game, doing something because you're, you're so good with the details, going over the details of things. I feel people see you as an authority in something. You could be a, an authority in, in the workplace, a subject matter expert or something like that. I feel like it's something, it's in your talents. And once you realize your talents or once you heal yourself um, or you know, this energy comes to the surface, I feel there is a realignment and a shift in your, in your thinking, in your perspective. Your angels says seek the divine seek the divine for those of you who are feeling de depression anxiety worry um things are feeling heavy maybe you're feeling like someone's picking on you or picking over you i'm looking at the vulture i feel like you're supposed to do more meditation 
more prayer, depending on who you are and how you connect to your source. So it says, ask your angels. Why are we doing this here? What is worrying you, Taurus? What's worrying you here? It feels like you're worried that someone is against you. It could be the Queen of Wands. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. So ask your angels. I feel like you have questions about this person. Yeah, this could be your person. Doesn't have to be. It could be Scorpio as well. Um, but I feel like this person, whoever they are um, in your life, they do worry you. There's someone who either suffers from depression, anxiety, but I feel like you think this person's against you. You think that this person doesn't like you and you worry about that. You worry about how what they're thinking about you or how they feel about you. All right. Sorry. Just getting some. We're going to use another deck. We are. All right. Let's go with the steampunk. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell us more about the opportunities that are waiting for Taurus on the other side of the door, please. What are the opportunities that are waiting for Taurus on the other side of the door? Because something's come to an end here, Taurus. After a reevaluation and you cutting away things you don't need, something's come to an end. It could be anything. That, that is up to you. Um, but because you've ended something, you've learned that lesson and cut yourself free, it's time for a new opportunity. What is that for Taurus, please? Queen of Swords. We've got the Three of Swords and the Page of Wands in reverse. I feel like the opportunity is you're going to get a chance to speak your mind. You're going to have to want to do it, though. Being in the Queen of Swords energy isn't enough, just being in it. <laughs> it's not enough. You really, you have to raise your voice. You have to not raise your voice, like not yelling, but you must, you know, even though your your legs shake, you must tell your truth and, and, and give clarity where clarity is due. I don't feel like you're so worried about speaking up any longer. I feel, um, Taurus, that you have come to a place in your life where you're like, you know what, I'm over it. If people don't like the way that I speak to them, then they have a choice. They can either talk to me or walk away. And it comes down to that. I, I don't feel like you're jumping through hoops for people anymore. Page of Wands is in the reverse. I'm not getting up and doing that thing anymore. I'm not jumping through your hoops. I'm not answering your questions. Yeah, it is disappointing, I feel, that people, um, I feel like, well, we've got the Three of Swords here, and, and I'm, I'm thinking that there is disappointment in having to maybe um, end some relationships, friendships, a job, whatever it is, but I do feel that you'll heal from it pretty quick. I think you're going to get a message, like, about cutting things away or cutting things out or transforming energy. It feels like you're going to get a message from someone that said, hey, why did you cut me out? And you're going to say, because you weren't taking any action toward me. You weren't, you weren't talking to me. You weren't, yeah, you weren't doing anything. You weren't taking any actions. You're just kind of sitting there. Right. So we have cobweb, right? We have protection from negative forces beyond your control. So um, you're being given a realignment or a shift in perspective here, I believe, because you've been doing a lot of self-care. Um, self-care will do that. It will it will um, emperor you up, right? It will definitely take you to the emperor or the empress skill level. <laughs> I like to refer to it like a like it's some sort of a, a video game, right? Um, Anyways, I feel like we have the uh, the emperor here. We have um, the you you or the Taurus here, the the hierophant, and we have the hermit as well. So I feel like you have been hermiting. I feel as though um, you haven't really been uh, connecting with people a whole lot, but it could be because you're into a lot of self care. I feel like you are the emperor Taurus, whether you're feminine or masculine. I feel like it's all on you, and you take care of it all. Um, I also feel like. Um, I also feel like you want a commitment with the emperor. 
whoever that is, right? The emperor is all the kings, right? Doesn't matter what their sign is. Um, I feel like you've been thinking about that. You've been feel you've been thinking about whether or not you want commitment. But I feel as though that if you were wanting commitment, like right now, the reason you're not getting it is getting it is because it's not for you, and you're being protected from a situation around it, whether you can see it or not. To you, it looks like you're being denied, but to the universe, it's like we're just doing a redirection here, hun. Because this thing is good. This person, this job, this situation is going to destroy you. And it's not your time. It's not your time. So you must carry on, right? So it's kind of like they, they take you down the side road. Who do you think is against you, Taurus? Someone who disconnected from you emotionally. Someone who you thought was coming to you to heal things. There is a uh, the Eight of Cups here. There is an emotional um, disconnection. There is a Four of Swords about healing. And then there is the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you feel that there is somebody who disconnected from you emotionally. And you have to heal from that. Understand that when you do heal from that, that things are going to are going to be good the healing it, it's a it's something that you were supposed to go through that is supposed to change your life this is a lesson that you're supposed to learn yeah that um worry doesn't doesn't necessarily do anything it doesn't do any good right for anything when you worry it's just a time waster and so you can worry about this person not having it feels like you don't have a connection to this person, but you want a connection to that person. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. You think this person's against you, but honestly, I feel like it's like they were taken out of your path for a reason. That's what it feels like. As a protection for your spirituality. I feel like you are emperored up in your spirituality here. And I also feel like that... You are the spiritual teacher, and I really feel like this person would have put that all at risk. So you think that this person's against you when really they've just been moved out of the way. And for whatever reason or whatever, you know, all the circumstances are going to be different for all of you. But we have um, eight cups here, four of swords and the ace of pentacles. I feel like something really great is coming. I feel like you're feeling upset that, that you have not received something that you've been manifesting but understand if the answer is no and you're not hearing it you're not getting the manifestation because it's not for you and a lot of the times too people are moved out of our way all of the times for those of you who have reconnected with people in your lives um, that you hadn't been connected to previously right so you understand why people have to go on their own path right they have to go on their own path of learning yeah so it feels like that here. It feels like you're mourning the loss of maybe a friendship. It could be love. Um, the only cups I see here is the Eight of Cups. So I don't know if it was love, um, but I feel like you're mourning the loss of something here. I don't think you should stop speaking up about your needs and what you want. You had to do this. I feel like the um, the death card is here. Uh you had to do the evaluation and the realignment in order for you to move forward, Taurus. But it's been hard, I understand. But understand also that the hard work that you've been doing on self is going to pay off. And the reason that you're supposed to be hermiting and, and healing is because there is something coming up for you in the future that is going to be really big that you're going to need your energy for. Really big, like a life-changing thing. Yeah, right? A life-changing thing after healing. I feel like after healing from when this person disconnects from you, Taurus, when they disconnect from you for the final time, I feel like it's going to be awful. You are going to go through some depression, anxiety issues. I'm not giving you a diagnosis. I'm saying I know those feelings. I have that energy. So maybe that's something that you're going to have to endure going forward. Um, yeah. You had to cut someone out to make room for the soulmate, Taurus. So this person isn't the person you're supposed to be with. It feels like a person. I feel like I'm talking about a friend or a family member or a lover. One of the two. Yeah, it's, it's destiny. It feels like this destiny is coming up on this card of, you know, protection. 
Um, and so realignment, protection, it's time for you to move forward. But it, for now, you're going to be in the holding tank. You're going to be in the hermit mode, working on yourself. Well, we take care of this stuff in this person. That's what that feels like. But there is destiny here, Taurus. And that means that you are destined to have a soulmate here. Um, but it is, it isn't the person that you thought it was. That's what it feels like for some of you. There's distance between you. There's, um, it could be that, that it's a long distance relationship that isn't working out. And so maybe you meet in the next life or maybe you meet somewhere later in life. You never know, right? But you could have met someone while traveling and possibly that started a long distance relationship for you, Taurus, um, that you were just enjoying yourself, having fun. And this destiny person is going to pop up. Um, you, I feel are going to meet this person while you're traveling or that this person is going to live a distance from you. Could be some for some of you, could be someone who is uh, blonde, a blonde female. Doesn't have to be, of course, but it does indicate here that they are feminine for sure. Um, this uh, this is the the Queen of Swords who is over here, which is interesting, which I felt is your energy. So I do really feel like you are going to either travel or that you live a distance from, but someone from a distance is your destiny. It's your soulmate. So I feel like you were uh, put down a, a path of obstacles to tell you to get yourself out of the way. And maybe when you didn't, the universe started with your realignment here. We have success. It's your time to shine. There we go. That's why it's time to shine. Because you're working so hard on yourself here. Success from what you pour your heart into. I think that's kind of lovely. Sort of a weird turn of events, but that's kind of cool. Taurus, I'm going to go. Thanks, my bull gang. Thanks so much for all you do for me. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. Smash the like button if you are not wanting to leave a comment. Just exchange some energy with me as usual, right? If you're interested in a private reading, I do some Black Friday sales on. Please go to Wizio. All in the description. Love you guys. Going to go for now. Bye-bye.